Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to focus the Xtool M1. But before we begin, there's some things you need to know. Heights of material less than or equal to 16 millimeters, you can use the software to use the auto measure feature. However, if your material is greater than 16 millimeters, you'll need to use a manual focusing method. So I know what you're thinking. What do you mean by 16 millimeters? If you're going to use the laser to focus the laser, the distance between the top of the base plate to the top of the material inside the M1 can be less than or equal to 16 millimeters. That includes material sitting on top of prisms. Again, the distance from the top of the base plate to the top of the material. If it's less than or equal to 16 millimeters, you can use the autofocus method. Otherwise, you have to switch over to the manual focus method. First, let me show you how to use the auto measure feature in the software. First, turn on the machine, connect the machine to the software, insert your prisms inside, insert your material and make sure the material is underneath the laser. Close the lid and let the image refresh in the software. Insert a picture or a shape. Click Auto Measure to determine the height of the material. Manual focusing is a bit more complex, but don't worry, I know you can do it. So the first thing you need to do is you'll need to make one of these manual focusing rulers. Go to support.xtool.com. There you'll find a template to create your own manual focusing ruler. Once you have that and you create that, then you can get started manual focusing. Place your prisms inside your M1 and then put your material on top. Make sure that laser is on top of the material so that the auto measure will work properly. Close the lid and let the software refresh the image. Once the image has been refreshed, change the height raised to the triangular prism and select auto measure. Now that that's complete, let's insert our image. With the ruler selected, go over to the right and change the power percentage to meet your needs. I like 50. Then select off the ruler, pick it one more time, and this time change that outside line to cut. Adjust the power and speed to fit the needs of the material that is actually inserted inside the M1. Do not change anything else but those two things, otherwise the ruler will not measure properly. Once that's been complete, select the entire ruler, put it on top of your material, then start and send it to the machine to create the ruler. Once you have your focusing ruler, take the base plate out of the M1. Place the ruler vertically on the material and close to the laser module. Read the scale value on top of the laser module. Enter the value as the distance in the software. So a couple of more extra tips for you. When you take your base plate out of your M1, make sure you take those screws and put them in a secure place so you don't lose them. Also, when you set up your M1, make sure you put it in a flat level surface. Do you want to see more tutorials? Follow the YouTube channel and pay close attention for the updates. Pretty soon you'll be making some pretty cool stuff just like this.